Hey everybody, this is Pastor B with Tuesday's Touch for April the 27th, and today we begin a new Tuesday's Touch series in which we will be praying through and reading through the book of Acts. I've been doing some praying through Acts and some reading through Acts and some study of Acts and even some writing around the book of Acts, and so you're going to join me on this journey as God pours into me, I'm going to share with you. And then we'll also, during this time, be learning how to pray through Scripture, which is something everybody needs to know how to do. The book of Acts is the second part of a two-book set. The first volume of the two-book set is the Gospel of Luke. And then the same writer, after he concludes Luke, then begins to write the book of Acts. And the formal name of the book is the Acts of the Apostles. And that's literally what it is. The Acts of the Apostles, or the book of Acts, records uh, the activity of the disciples after Jesus has left this life. He's taught them. He's prayed for them. He's poured into them. He's witnessed for them. He's shared with them. He's even modeled for them as he washed their feet and as he stood up to the Pharisees and Sadducees and gave his life. He's modeled for them what it meant to be faithful. And now that he is gone, it's time for them to act. And God expects the same thing from you and I. We can go to conferences and read the Bible every day, memorize scripture even. And we can pray and fast until we lose weight and people get concerned about our health. But at the end of the day, if you never act on what you have heard, if you never act on what you have learned, if you never act on the things that God pours into you, well, you may as well have never heard them at all. The book of James chapter 2 verse 17 says that faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. In other words, you can say you believe, you can talk the talk of a Christian, but if you don't live any of that out, if you don't act that out, you won't be blessed. And also those around you will not be blessed in the way that God wants them blessed. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 through 4 says, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us all in our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort those who are in trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. In other words, God comforts us, God pours into us, God speaks to us, God gives to us, God shares with us, so that we can do the same thing for other people. The experiences that the disciples had had to this point in life were all to prepare them for what was coming as they did ministry in the name of Jesus. And that's how we have to look at the experiences of our lives, the pleasant ones and the difficult ones. God, how am I going to use this to better others around me and to build your kingdom? Now, as I said, as we move through the book of Acts, we're going to be praying through the book of Acts. And so what that means is, is, is that as we encounter particular scenarios and situations and stories in Acts, we will lift from those stories a prayer that we will pray over ourselves today or, or in our present day. And so the first pray, prayer that we will pray out of the book of Acts is a prayer that encompasses the whole purpose and point of the entire book. If the, the point of this book is to display the acts of the of the apostles, well, we're going to pray a prayer that kind of centers from that now. Let's pray. God, it is our prayer. We pray that you would allow us to act on the things that we've heard, that you would allow us to act in ways that glorify you, that you not simply make us consumers of your word and consumers of your truth and consumers of of the, the wisdom and the mysteries that you share with us, but that after we have consumed them, we begin to act on them in the world so that we can be blessed, so that we can be more faithful, and also so that we can bless others in the way that you want them blessed. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. This is Pastor B with Tuesday's Touch. God bless you and God keep you coming to you from St. James Presbyterian Church. Charleston, South Carolina, you have been touched.